We're hearing from two men who were live streaming and playing Pokemon Go when they found themselves face to face with officers who had their guns pulled. 11 News reporter Danielle Quitter joins us now live at Monument Valley Park where it all happened in downtown Colorado Springs. And Danielle, this was all apparently a prank on the players and the police. Don and Diane is known as swatting. You may have heard of it. It's when a suspect targets a popular gamer who records himself playing games online. Now, typically, the suspect calls in a fake threat and police respond usually to the gamer's home, but this time it happened in a public park. When the one cop had his rifle on us and I saw a cop across the street a couple cops with rifles on us, that I was like, oh man, please just. Be good. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Jared Lazar and Kevin Davenport did not expect to see police officers while they were playing Pokemon Go today. The two have been live streaming themselves playing video games for years, and today was no different. They started posting live videos of themselves playing where viewers could comment. Somebody saying to start watch the, start watching the channel in like five minutes, something like that. I thought somebody was just going to come say what's up, like a random viewer or something. And... Um, we start seeing cops all over the place. Apparently, someone phoned in a fake threat and gave the descriptions of these two men. The suspect has an AK-47 or an AR. He says he's playing remote, uh, remote bombs in the park and wants to kill cops. Us? Okay. This is video when the two were confronted by police officers. By the time I was holding my hands up, I wasn't going to make a move. You know, I wasn't going to go turn <laughs> my stream off with one yeah, hand. You know, exactly. I was I was a little nervous. I mean, dude, you got guys pointing rifles. They weren't pistols. Yeah, they were rifles. <laughs> Police had the two walk backwards until they could talk. The cops were super cool. They were really nice about everything once they got the the all the information and stuff. The two said through their experience of watching other gamers being swatted online, these suspects can be very hard to find, but they hope police can catch whoever was responsible. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Danielle Kreuter, KKTV 11 News. Such a big waste of time for everyone involved. Danielle, thank you.